about the freak off, Diddy Jr. Diddy Jr., tell him about the freak off. He calling the police, y'all. He calling, no, I don't give a, listen. No, you know what you did. Your body slammed me on the floor. Come on, police, police. Tell them the real you. Tell them the real you. Tell them, tell them the real you. Tell them the real you and why we're here today. Tell them why we're here today. Tell, shut the boy. Refuse to remove me. Why? 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 Because the commotion. How did the commotion start? What did, what, what did we talk about? What did I ask of you? Listen, all of that is irrelevant. All of that is irrelevant. Okay, so you calling the bullies. Like a Like a Y'all, guess what? Over what? Over what? Because he want hoes over the house while his kids is here. Why you like to have hoes, drugs, and, and weed, alcohol, mushrooms, and prostitutes in the house while his kids are here everyone has asked him to stop but he will not listen to nobody this is what's going on this is the tea while the bitch is in the house i asked him not to bring no in the house i even came over here to help him with these kids because he won't want to he won't watch these kids tell him about the freak off diddy jr diddy jr tell him about the freak off tell him about the freak off tell them the truth Tell these people the truth. Oh, shut the fuck up. You don't give a fuck about none of these kids. Do y'all see a fucking picture in this house of a fucking kid? He don't care about these kids. All he care about is doing drugs, drinking alcohol, fucking these hoes. That's what you care about. So let's go. I'm a diddy bop the fuck up out of here. You and your freak off. You can get back to your freak off in a minute. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. You'll be next. Your stories will be coming out next. He gonna say, my daughter crying. Uh, you gotta go. But the gonna stay huh the whole gonna stay the whole gonna stay excuse me the whole gonna stay the whole gonna stay excuse the whole gonna stay come on now the whole gonna stay you're doing a lot huh excuse me why can't you just be at home with your kids why can't you just get out why you just can't be at home with the kids excuse me why you can't be at home with the kids is that hard for you to lay in the bed and lay down with your kids i've done it no you don't do it that's the problem that's why i'm here and you know that and you know that and you know that though and you know that and you know that I'm on that. I'm shut, on up. That. shut up. Right. Shut right. up. Right. Cool. Shut your right. up. Right. Man, right. shut your right. up. Right. Shut right. your right. up. Right. Take care of your kids and shut the bitch up. Right. Shut the fuck up. Right. Mr. Clean. Please stop playing with me before I slap the shit out of you. Yo, you slap the shit out of me. No, shut your right. up. Shut your Yeah, I know I'm going to go to jail with you. That's why I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying far away from you. you the <laughs> Police. 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 Shut your up, pussy yeah, ass. What I'm you already did that. Yeah, exactly. Shut up. Say something respectfully. I come from a very toxic household too. I've been working since I was 16 years old. I've never sold my body. I did everything I could to get to where I'm at. I'm a licensed therapist now mm. and I content create. Do you know how hard it took me to get to where I'm at and I've never sold my body? So when you're saying that, it's kind of like of an excuse. I'm not trying to attack you whatsoever because like I said, it's your life, whatever, but you're using the excuse of having a toxic family. I didn't have a mom. I didn't have a lot of things growing up. So you could work at a warehouse. You can mm. do a lot of things. I make six figures now because of social media, Sir, but I had to get up there. I used to bartend just like her and I didn't want to do that. I used to wash dishes. I used to work in a freaking warehouse loading trailers. You think a girl wants to do that? No. Mm. So when you guys are saying this stuff and then talking about God, it makes no sense. If you cared a lot about God, you'd follow the way he He wants you to be, not however you think you should be. And like the excuses to me, I'm not trying to be rude, but it just sounds crazy. Well, you know, like I know it sounds crazy. Like I do and I sin, but I still pray to God every day. As so if well. I if I steal every single day and tell God, please, thank you, like, how does that work? If I go hurting people in this world and then say, oh, God, forgives me, you're not learning your lesson. Okay, when you make a mistake and you pray to God, God sees you for what you do afterward. And you don't feel bad enough. You don't care enough because it would make you stop. And like I said, you just said you game, right? You're beautiful. You know how many people would get on your freaking Twitch? Because of how you look, you don't even have to do You don't nothing. have to pull your clothes Girl, off. I can help you make money instead of doing all this talented content creator right here. She she goes by it's Tay Tay Baby. She actually reached out to me when my father passed. Shout out to you, Tay Tay. Just spit an absolutely incredible amount of bars to that young woman. This is the type of building up that a lot of these modern women need to hear.
No, not your parents. No, not your upbringing. No, not whatever happened to you within your past is an excuse for you for going down the route of whore. There's so many different ways for you to make money in this world, especially now in this gig economy as the internet has provided for us today. Stop blaming your previous circumstances. Nobody cares. And instead, address your need for short-term gratification because that's all that that avenue provides for. Because just as Kevin Samuel said, when OnlyFans is done, Subway will be hiring. Black women have the best bodies. Thank you. Some of the most beautiful faces. If they just sometimes were a little more soft. Uh oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. She don't know what the booby trap she just stepped up into. I agree, by the way. I do think black women have the best bodies, but they do have some of the most overweight. They have the best bodies when they take care of them. But this young lady just entered their trap card. <laughs> That's laughable. Because I've seen a lot of people in the comments were like, she right, she right. A lot of black women, let's talk about it, were like, she's right, she's right. If we were just a little bit softer. But I guess my question is, knowing oh. what black men have to go through, knowing what black men face when they step outside, can you be a woman who's not strong, who's not assertive, with a black man in today's climate? Instead of focusing on black women being soft, let's focus on raising our sons to provide environments where black women can feel comfortable being soft. So why can't I, you just be soft instead of raising your child? Because, 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 be because, be why can't I be soft? Because at the end of the day, there's still mm -hmm. going to be a multitude of men who tell me I'm still too hard because I want a certain amount of things for myself. I'm asking because for Because I feel like it's a stigma around black women. We have to be hard. We're yeah. strong as Strong well, that's it. That's what that's what they need. Dependent. If you at home raise the fat kids by yourself, because this nigga left, mother's like, oh, you too hard. Yeah, how you? Do you see the way that she's talking about it? Um, my guess is is that she probably um, had a single mother, but it's it's almost like they wear this strength as a badge of honor. You should not wear that strength as a badge. It's not. It's nothing to be proud of. Your your strength. Men don't want to compete with your strength. What don't you get about that? Your hardness, your roughness, the things that you're doing with your hands. A lot of y'all just need to sit and watch a femininity coach display herself because the actions that they do within that is what attracts a masculine guy. Y'all complain about dudes being in they soft guy era. Y'all complain about all of this drizzle drizzle shit because we mock y'all for not even understanding the basic things that you're requesting of us when you demonstrate so much shit towards us. Your hardness, your strength, and your masculinity is celebrated in the media but is not celebrated amongst the men that want to find you attractive. Let it go. Why is it so hard? Go figure it out. The world owes you no favors. If you don't change your behavior, then expect the outcomes that you project. You, you, are, you, have, to be, you, have, to be, you have to be disrespectful. No. No. Do you, very, right, very do you have to break down a man? No. Absolutely not. But I, you know, I do have an issue. One issue was with the whole, like, you know, you step outside and I ain't got to smile. I, I don't. I can be you know, respectful and have my boundaries. I don't have to smile and be the nicest thing to everybody, but I can be cordial. I can be respectful and I can, I can exist. Buy a dog, cat. Die alone. I will never understand why women like this refuse to drop their masculine, hard-ass exterior. They admit that they can't be soft and in the same breath want to be protected. Why? You're hard. You can protect yourself. It's like they live in a constant hypocrisy where they can't hold a mirror up to their face long enough to consider the consequences of their behavior or their actions. <laughs> Girl, we out to this party right now. Yeah, girl, we out. We yeah, fun. We gonna be lit. Go. Girl, we out. We out. Nah, 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 nah y'all. She coming back home with me. We going back to the crib and shit. I'm sorry, y'all. My man said I can't go. So. <gasps> what? What? He said um, it's what giving is that controlling. Mean, huh? <gasps> it's giving insecure. What? She's not your slave. Like that ass. That ass. Sis, that ass. No, that, that ass. ass. What am I, mother? Like what? Like you're about to go to a whole party and shit, whole club and all that. The hell, she not going to that? Girl, you did not grow up with your daddy. Do not let this brunt black ass tell you what to do. You is not his doormat. Wait a minute. Are you hitting her at oh, home? I want my girl in that type of environment, bro. Girl, let me tell you something. This is a monster. And if you stay with him, he's going to Ted Bundy you. Do not be with this man, girl. Run, sis. Um, what are you talking my friends are right. You going to listen to that? I mean, they make a good point. Why can't I go out and shake some ass? Like, what the fuck? You ain't my daddy. Goodbye. What the f just happened? She belongs to the street. Purposes. Mileage purposes. Purposes. We need men. Black women. Do we need them? Oh my gosh.
Yes. I know we not need yes. that. I go back to the crack cocaine epidemic. For some reason, I don't know, society was mm-hmm. able to convince us that we should throw our men away. They told us that our men had no value. And so what did our men start to believe? That they had no value. And then we became surprised or upset that our men started to disappear. But if you start to tell our men that they have no value and our men start to believe they have no value, they believe that they are doing the best thing for you by not being there. And so I'm passionate about this because I hate it when people did that in my own family, mm-hmm. when they tried to make me devalue my father because he had an addiction. He is mine. He is my father and he has value and everything that he has done in spite of his addiction still contributed to my life. Mm-hmm. I would be nothing without my father. Yes, I need my father. I need black men. We all need black men. We need black families to be back on track with the entirety of our community. We come from people who believe in the community of people. I'm not a boss. Mm. I am a woman who is here to nurture my children and my men. No. We absolutely need our men. The greatest thing that an entity can do to weaken the family is to take the strength of a man out, the strength of a father out. And these dumb lemmings just don't understand that you are weakening the foundation of a healthy society of two-parent households. Hey.